So guys, this first video will be directed primarily to those of us who don't have a lot of area for a garden, but are concerned with our food security. The items that I'm going to list are going to be vegetables that I believe you can grow in a five gallon bucket, a small planter on your deck or patio. This is not an all inclusive list, but everything here will be simple and easy and almost guaranteed to grow for you. So the first vegetable I think I want to discuss is probably the most important vegetable to have in your garden and the easiest to grow. And that's going to be your tomatoes. Now I would avoid trying to grow the giant tomatoes as tempting as it may be as a first time gardener or, or someone who doesn't garden regularly to grow a giant tomato sounds like fun, but it is not really ideal for food security. Instead, I would suggest using a cherry tomato or cherry varieties as they're going to grow a lot more fruit on each plant. So even if your plant isn't the healthiest, you're going to have something. You're going to get something out of it. So a cherry tomato or what they call the cocktail tomatoes, which are larger than a cherry tomato, but not a lar as large as the slicing tomatoes, uh, would be a good choice. On that line of security, again, you want to think about, or I'm trying to think about, uh, people who are in apartments or limited spaces or who don't normally garden. Uh, or grow vegetables. So my number one suggestion is going to be to go with the patio varieties. Now the patio varieties are going to be much more forgiving for you. You're not going to have to worry about pruning or trellising um, or basketing these uh, plants. They don't need a lot of soil underneath them. They're pretty tough and they're pretty user friendly. So they're going to be forgiving for someone who doesn't normally grow uh, vegetables. So um, that would be my suggestion. I like to use the tumbler tomato. It's a patio variety. It loves containers. Does great. I use it in my regular big giant garden because it doesn't take up much space. I don't have to worry about them. I put the plants in the ground and I walk away and deal with my other plants. And I get piles and piles of small tomatoes off of it, little cherry tomatoes for my salads and whatnot. Uh, and it, it doesn't take any time for me that I can dedicate to other more difficult to grow plants. So that is one I use. There's uh, some others out there I will link. There's, there's a few hybrids out there. Now remember, to these uh, container varieties tend to be hybrid. So you may not be able to save your seeds. And that might be a concern for you that you can't save your seeds for your food security. Number two on my list is going to be peppers. And in this case, peppers, I would say stay with a smaller pepper. The smaller peppers, not teeny tiny, but medium size, like the jalapeno peppers. And with a, a caveat in that, I'm going to say to maybe avoid too many of the hot peppers. Grow some peppers that you can throw into everything, and it doesn't. It's about food volume. So there are some cooler peppers that are smaller in size that produce quite effectively they're they're heavy producers one of these is the jalapeno with no heat i've called i've seen it called fooled you or fooled me or some other names there's some varieties from baker creek out there that are are cooler small heavy producing uh, peppers and the neat thing about peppers is the more peppers you pick off your plant the more peppers you're going to get so number three onions. Onions are, are a wonderful addition to the, your food security. However, not every onion is going to work for you. I would avoid 
the typical onion, the slicing onion. And I would go with the bunching onions. Now, bunching onions are wonderful and they're easy to grow. They don't require a lot of space. They don't mind being crowded. They don't care about how much sunlight they get. Uh, they don't need long days. So the bunching onion is, is a wonderful addition to your food security plants. I would go in at whatever variety. I don't know that any there's much difference between the bunching onions. But they're a great addition. They love to grow in pots. They love to grow in, in little tiny flower beds. So the bunching onion is an excellent choice for your food security. Neat thing about bunching onions is you can pull out a cluster of bunching onions, break one of them off, stick it back in the ground, take the rest in the house, eat them, and that one that you stuck back in the ground will sprout another bunch of onions. So the bunching onions, that's number three on my food security plants. Next is eggplant. Number four, eggplant is a wonderful addition to your home security. It doesn't mind being in five gallon buckets. It does just fine in those. Um, it needs a little, a lot of heat and it needs the sun. So you, you're gonna have to make sure it gets those things. Um, eggplant, like your peppers, is one of those, the more you pick, the more you get. Uh, so it, it, it really is a good producer. With this caveat that you should probably stay away from the large eggplants. The, the uh, long, slender uh, Asian eggplants are probably the best for, for this food security. They're heavy producers. Um, you, they, you don't need them to get big to be mature. You can pick them pretty small. So the Asian eggplant, that's another wonderful addition. It grows very similar to tomatoes or peppers. Um, doesn't mind being grown in a five gallon bucket. So eggplant is on this list for those of you who have confined spaces to, that you're gonna try to grow your food in. Number five is gonna be lettuce. Lettuce doesn't require much soil to grow. It tolerates a little excess moisture. If you're having trouble with a, finding a sunny spot for it, it will grow in a shady area quite well. I would avoid the head lettuces because uh, you want to be able to harvest off of this lettuce as time goes on. So if you use a salad blend, for instance, that one will allow you to take your scissors and cut off a little bit at a time and make salads every day from this lettuce. So lettuce is my number five. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions, I'll, I'd love to hear them. So just put them down in the comments below. All right, so that's five items I could think of right now to help with your food security and help keep you out of the stores while we're all trying to self-isolate a little bit and be smart. Uh, if you could think of other things, please put them down in the comments. If you think I'm wrong on something, put it in the comment. Help us all out. This is all, we're all in this together. And we all need to start thinking outside of the box. And for some of us, this may be life or death. If you're an older person uh, or have some autoimmune issues, some health concerns, this could make the difference between getting through this or spending some time in the hospital. So any suggestions, I'd love to hear. Put them in the comments below. I will put links to some seed companies uh, where you can get some of these things. And, uh, and I will have some more videos on this subject as time goes on. See you guys later and stay safe out there.